This is the Jocko Underground Podcast, number 42, sitting here with Echo Charles and DC, Daryl Cooper, guest appearance. I was I was thinking about um, some of the principles of combat leadership that I talk about all the time. One of them is prioritize and execute. And the reason I was thinking about this is because obviously I talk about it a lot from a business perspective. I talk about it a lot from a combat leadership perspective. And sometimes I talk about it from a life perspective. And I think it is, it's, well, not I think, I know it's applicable in all those categories. It is absolutely applicable in all those categories. But there's something else that in talking with people and communicating with people, I talk to a lot of people and communicate with a lot of people in a lot of different situations and scenarios. And one of those is I, I talk to people that are dealing with like a bunch of different issues, sometimes emotional type issues, sometimes traumatic type issues. Mm. And because of, this is interesting, you know I always say in combat, because of Murphy's Law, all your problems are gonna hit you at the same time. Mm. In business, because of Murphy's Law, all your problems are gonna hit you at the same time, so you're gonna get the client that's mad, the factory that's on fire, the the supply chain that's broken, it's all gonna happen at the same time. Mm. In combat, you're gonna get somebody wounded, you're gonna have a bad head count, you're gonna have uh, civilians steal, you're gonna have all these things happening at the same time. Mm-hmm. And in life, same thing, you're gonna have your water heater break, you're gonna have your kid sick, you're gonna have, like all this stuff, Murphy's Law. But this also happens on, a, on an emotional level too. Mm-hmm. So I talk to people and sometimes I see that they are under an emotional attack. And because of Murphy's Law, it's an emotional attack from multiple different directions. And what I wanted to talk about is the fact that even in those situations, prioritize and execute still comes into play. So when you have multiple emotional traumatic scenarios happening at the same time, this your reaction can be the same as someone messing up on the battlefield. That is, they freeze, they, they, they freeze, they don't do anything, or they try and solve all the things at the same time. Same thing can happen with business. I don't know what to do, what should I focus on? And they don't do anything, or they try and solve all their problems at the same time. Life, the same thing can happen. So when we, as humans, get hit with multiple emotional attacks, or like psychological attacks, you know, it's like you lost your job, you lost your girlfriend, you found out that you've got some sickness that's going on, and all those three things happen at the same time. Look, if one of them happens, you lose your job, you got your girl, you're okay. You lose your girl, you still go to work, you got your job, you're okay. Mm-hmm. But when you lose both those things, that's a huge hit to your, to your emotional stability. And then on top of that, you find out that you're sick. And then on top of that, you know, you're, the, the mortgage is due and now you're a couple days late. So these are like problems, but they're not just, they're not just normal problems. They're emotional problems and they hit you at an emotional level. Mm-hmm. So in those situations, prioritize and execute still applies. And I've talked some people through this recently who have had some significant emotional challenges going on. And it's the same, it's the same principle. Okay, what is the major cause of your problem? Okay, you've got a bunch of problems going on. You've got this one major significant problem. Let's talk through that problem first. Let's focus on coming to grips with that initial problem. Because you combine six problems, this is how people get overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. This is how people end up hurting themselves, killing themselves. Because mm-hmm. there's six problems, they, they, they're just overwhelmed, and they say, I, I can't, I, I'm never gonna get out of this. Mm-hmm. Same thing on the battlefield. You got all these problems going on, no one, leader doesn't know what to do, they freeze, they don't do anything. Mm-hmm. They think, oh, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. So when you have five, six, seven emotional things that are dragging you down, prioritize and execute. Okay, what's the biggest issue that I have right now? How can I start to address that? What can I do to get to a better place with that particular issue? Now, there is, whenever I talk about prioritize and execute, I talk about handling the biggest problem first. That is one technique for prioritize and execute. There's another technique that is also effective depending on the scenario. Sometimes 
you got 10 problems and you got one, you know, the biggest problem is this, the next biggest problem is that, but you got a couple little straggler problems that aren't that big. Mm -hmm. You can actually go, you know what, I'm gonna get rid of this problem right now. I'm gonna focus on this for the next two hours, get it done, get it taken care of, boom, then I can go to the problem that's gonna take three hours, get that one off my plate. So you actually can then focus on these big problems that might take you a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month to get solved, but you've gotten rid of some of those smaller problems. So you could do that technique as well. The, the principle is the same as prioritize and execute. Mm-hmm. But the technique is maybe you go after the small problems first or ones that are gonna be easier for you to handle. You know, you, you, you got a sick cat and it's draining you emotionally because your cat's gonna die and it's a problem and you're crying every night. Well, you know what the solution is. Just kill the cat. <laughs> I, I mean, quite honestly, yes. Emotion. Right, you got, a, you got a cat that needs to be put down and it's dragging you down, you might need to say, okay, you know what? I, I, I need to do the right thing here. My cat is suffering. My cat has no, there's no medical viable option. I need to, I need to do the right thing and get my cat put down. Boom, so you get that off your plate. Th- that could also be the biggest problem, I mean, in some cases. But th- the point is, it doesn't really matter if you use the first technique or the second technique. <clears throat> you could even just look at, hey, this is the one that I, Here's another way to do it. This is the biggest problem that I'm most scared of facing. Mm. So I am either gonna tackle that one, I'm gonna tackle that problem, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm having an existential crisis and I'm afraid to die. Mm. Okay, maybe you say, all right, you know what, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna talk to my, fr- I'm gonna read, I'm gonna talk to my friend, you know, Echo, who seems to have a good handle on this kind of stuff, I'm gonna try and overcome this fear. Or maybe you say, you know what, that's a huge problem, I don't wanna deal with that one right now, I'm gonna go to this, other thing that's been bothering me, which is, you know, I don't know if I'm in the right career. So both those things work. Now, the other part of this is is taking action. Taking action is a, is a, starting to move in the right direction, starting to move starts to solve problems and it starts to solve emotional problems as well. Mm -hmm. When you sit or you lay, you lay down, or you sit, and you stay static, and you don't move, this is not good. Look, are there exceptional times where maybe you need to take a tactical pause and you need to maintain your position for a little while to let a situation develop? Yes, yes, it does happen. Seven out of 10 times, action is going to trump inaction. So let your default mode be, hey, I've got these five or six emotionally draining situations happening, when you're just sitting there, they're continuing to drain. Don't do that. Get up, start to move, start to figure out how you're going to address some of these problems. And what makes it digestible is that instead of looking at the nine problems that you have, which you can't address nine things at once, you can't. You can barely even comprehend nine things at once. But when you look at them and go, all right, I got all these things that are bothering me, what is the biggest, okay, oh, oh my cat is freaking sick. It's been bothering me. All right, I need to address that right now. That is a little excerpt of what we are doing on the Jocko Underground podcast. So if you want to continue to listen, go to jockounderground.com and subscribe. And we're doing this to mitigate our reliance on external platforms so we are not subject to their control. And we're doing it so we can give you more control, more interaction, more direct connections, better communications with us, strengthen this legion of troopers that are in the game with us. So thank you, it's jockounderground.com. It costs $8.18 a month. And if you can't afford to support us, we can still support you. Just email assistance at jockounderground.com and we'll get you taken care of. Until then, We will see you mobilized underground.